Okay folks, so here we are with thinking blocks. This is a great way to learn how to solve word problems. It helps you model and solve the problem step by step. I'm just going to move up the screen so that you can see those important buttons at the bottom. This is the one that you want to start with. Start modeling. So when you first come into the problem, you can see the problem at the top. Nina had 43 stamps. After giving some of her stamps to her friend, Nina had 30 left. How many stamps had Nina given to her friend? What Thinking Blocks is asking you to do is to actually build the problem. So you can see this top block says the amount given away. You need to just determine where that goes. The next block is total amount and of course amount left. According to this problem, this block would be in the top block. It represents the total amount of stamps. After giving her stamps to her friend, Nina had 30 left. Hmm, the amount left should go here and the amount given away. The next thing that you'll need to do is to actually use the colored blocks at the bottom to put into your problem. As you can see from this screen, I have actually put the blue blocks in the proper spaces, just as indicated here. And the next step um, is to look at the other blocks. So in the next image, I'm going to move up the screen for you. So we're still on that same screen, but as I moved up the picture, you can see that we still have these blocks to put in, and we're going to put them on the bar. They represent the amount given away and the amount left. Then we'll press the check button to see if we're right. Once you hit the check button, the problem asks you to put the numbers in the right, in the right places. We know that the total amount is 43 because it says that Nina had 43 stamps. After giving her some of her stamps to her friend, Nina had 30 left. Well, that tells us that the amount left was 30. So the only question mark is the amount given away. And this is what it looks like once we've added our numbers and the question mark for the part that we're not sure about yet. Now we have our numbers in the correct blocks, we have our blocks correctly sized, and we're ready to calculate our answer. We're going to use this calculator to calculate our answer. And when I press check answer, the computer tells me way to go. It makes me feel good and helps me to realize that I have solved the problem. The Thinking Blocks program levels up as you master each level and gives you more and more complicated problems. It's a great way to learn how to solve word problems.